at ASCO 2013 talking to Dr. Richard Finn from UCLA Geffen about an update on his research on palbociclib plus lutrazole in postmenopausal breast cancer. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today. Uh, the palbociclib program uh, is moving very quickly in advanced breast cancer. Palbociclib is an investigational agent being developed by Pfizer. Uh, it is a small molecule inhibitor of cyclin-dependent kinases 4 and 6. CDK4-6 uh, proteins are very important in regulating cell cycle progression. And laboratory observations from our group identify that CDK4-6 inhibition might be very important in ER-positive breast cancer models. We also defined that CDK4-6 inhibition in combination with anti-estrogen therapy might be synergistic in the clinic, again using laboratory models. This led to a randomized phase two study, which was presented at San Antonio a few months back. And this study was really a groundbreaking result in that we saw an improvement in median PFS from seven and a half months with letrozole alone to over 26 months with the addition of palbociclib. Since that meeting, uh, palbociclib has received a breakthrough therapy designation from the FDA. This is a very exciting uh, uh, milestone in the molecule. Uh, as this raises the hope that the drug will get to patients as soon as possible. At the same time, and what we're presenting at this meeting today, is the study design for the ongoing phase three study of palbociclib. The phase three study is aimed at validating these observations we saw at San Antonio, that palbociclib has significant activity in ER positive breast cancer in combination with letrozole, but also it has a very tolerable safety profile. The phase three study that we presented on at this meeting is a global study. It's currently open and accruing. Uh, 450 patients are going to be randomized in a two to one fashion to the combination of letrozole and palbociclib versus letrozole and placebo. It'll be a double blinded placebo controlled study with a primary endpoint of progression free survival. There'll be some secondary endpoints such as overall survival, response rate, safety, quality of life and biomarkers. But our hope is that this study will really uh, validate and establish a definitive role for CDK4-6 inhibition with palbociclib in advanced breast cancer. Uh, the data from the phase two study uh, has generated a real excitement around the molecule. Uh, accrual to the study is proceeding well and, and our hope is to accrue this very quickly uh, so we can get this drug to the patients in need. Mm -hmm.